adding a generic SAML application with identity as a service. To define an application for users to connect to, from the Getting Started wizard, select Create an Application, or click the Application tile. If this is the first SAML application you are integrating with, you may need to create a signing certificate. In the signing certificate page, a self-signed certificate is already listed. Click the plus to create a new self-signed certificate. The Create Signing Certificate requests a name and identifies the default expiry date. You can change the expiry date if you wish to make the certificate lifetime shorter. The certificate is added. It can be downloaded for importing with your SAML application during integration. Back in the application window, select the plus to add an application. Identity as a Service includes a number of cloud applications for you to integrate with for single sign-on and two-factor authentication. If you want to protect a cloud service that is not pre-configured with Identity as a Service, you can add it as a generic SAML service provider application. Scroll down and select the generic SAML application tile. Provide a meaningful name for the application and description and you can customize the application logo if desired. Click Next to define the application. The setup information must be completed. If you have a metadata file from your application, you can upload it here. Your metadata file should contain the following. Assertion Customer Service URL, Service Provider Entity ID, Single Logout Service URL, SAML Signing Certificate, SAML Name ID and Coding Format, SAML Signature Algorithm. In this example, we will review all the details required once the metadata file is uploaded. The Assertion Customer Service URL is the URL used by IDAS when asserting an authentication to the application. The Service Provider Entity ID is used by Identity as a Service to identify the SAML service provider. If your SAML service provider supports SAML logout, set the single logout service URL to the value supplied by your SAML service provider. Otherwise, leave it blank. The SAML name ID attribute is the user attribute that will be used to uniquely identify a user to both Identity as a Service and your SAML application. The attribute should be one that will never change. Select the SAML signing certificate from the drop-down list. For this example, we will use the self-signed certificate we just created. From the SAML signature algorithm drop-down list, Select SHA-1, SHA-256, or SHA-512 as a type of signing algorithm you want Identity as a Service to use to sign the SAML response or assertion. The type of algorithm you select depends on the requirements of the application being configured. Optionally, you can select the Sign Complete SAML Response to ensure the message integrity of the SAML response sent to the application during authentication. Optionally, you can select Encrypt SAML Assertion. When selected, the SAML Assertion is also encrypted. If you have multiple domains that will be federated, then add a domain entry for each one. This setting specifies the application or URL that a user is redirected to after successful authentication. Relay states appear on the user's My Profile page. This setting specifies the user attributes, groups, or authenticators to include in the SAML assertion. Click Submit. At this time, we will not define the resource rules, so click Done. Returning to the Applications page, the SAML application is now listed. Now you have all the information required to set up IDAS as an identity provider for your SAML application. If your application can import the SAML information from a metadata file, download that file using the download icon for the application. Select the certificate to include in the metadata file. This should be the one we just created earlier. And click download. If your application does not accept the metadata file, you can download the signing certificate as we did earlier and view and copy the SAML configuration information from the SAML section of the Applications page. Use the Copy icon to copy the values 
when setting up your application. Returning to the dashboard, the new application is defined, and if you are using the wizard to create an application, the application tile is now completed. Before users can start logging in, the application requires a resource rule to be defined. Please see our library of support content or contact our world-class support team any time of the day, no matter where you are, for more immediate assistance.